Hello everyone. Welcome to the online classes of computer science. Today we are going to continue with the chapter 8 which is introduction to HTML. Learning in this chapter. HTML document structure in which we'll be studying about head section, body section, then we have basic HTML tags, types of HTML elements. In this we'll be studying container element and empty element. the html document structure children your html document starts with html and each document is considered to be a single page the general structure of an html document has two sections head section and the body section the head section contains your title and the body will contain your content now children we will discuss the basic structure of an html document the html tag marks the beginning of an html document its corresponding closing tag which is this is placed at the end of the document everything is written within these tags this is the opening and this is the closing everything is written between these tags if the commands are not enclosed in these tags then a web browser will assume the commands as simple text now suppose you have written your code in your notepad this is the place we will be writing our html code so this is the beginning see html and after this inside this i have written the content which might comprise of other tags and the content their attributes and then after writing all this this is the closing point where i have written html inside these angular brackets with a forward slash this marks the closing of this document now we will see what is a head section children head the head section provides the general information about the document that is the title defines the title for the page on the browser's section children the head is the first element contained inside the html element it contains no text within itself okay it will only contain title now we'll see this see in your notepad i have written html and then head it does not contain any text but it contains another tag which is your title suppose for my title i have written my first html code and then i have closed my title and then i have closed my head children the output of these things will be starting when we'll come to the later half of these classes but as, as of now this is the basic structure basically the title tag has to be given within the head tags it contains the title of the document the title should be short and less than 64 characters the title tag changes the text that appears on the top of your browser but not in the actual viewing pane now we'll see what is a body section the body section contains the text which get displayed on the web page along with other tags and attributes it includes text graphics and other html elements that provide control and formatting to a page like fonts paragraph list and other elements basically the body tag contains the contents of your document which get displayed on the web page in your browser in the body tag we use formatting elements images heading list etc to enhance the appearance of a web page for an example in your notepad you have written html then your head then title then my first html code title close head close after that we'll be beginning with our body and inside our body the content is there and after you've written your content you're going to close your body and then in the end close your html now we shall see some basic html tags children html is a tag based language and contains various elements tags and attributes tags are the building blocks of a web page they contain elements which defines how the information on a web page is formatted or displayed a tag 
comprises of the enclosed in angle brackets. All tags have their own attributes and default values. Each tag in HTML follows the specific rules known as syntax. These tags are not case sensitive. Tags are also known as elements. Children, just now in our previous slides, we have written HTML tag in all capital letters. We can also write that in small letters. Since just now, you can see the last line which says tags are not case sensitive. Means you can write it in any format and they are also known as elements. Now we shall see the types of HTML elements. They are basically two container elements and then we have empty elements. Now we shall see what are container elements. Children, in your HTML, the tag that includes both on and off tags are called container elements. A tag is open using or opening angular brackets and closed using a closing brackets. And inside these closing brackets, you have to put this forward slash. For an example, your HTML to open and HTML with a forward slash to close. This is your container element. Why? Because it contains both on and off. As you can see, this is to open and this is to close. Now, what are empty elements? Children, empty elements contain only on tags and they do not have off tags. These elements do not enclose any data. Instant, instant, they do some functions on their own. For an example, PR tag. Its function is to break the line and display the text from the next line. Children, you shall learn more about PR tag in later half of the classes. But as of now, you should just know what are empty tags. These tags just contain on and they do not have a off. Just now we have seen your BR tag. It is just to open and we don't have a closing tag for it. So as of now, this was for today's class. For the rest of the tags and rest of the content, we shall see in our next classes. Thank you.